We have a needlework panel, which is the best clue we have to what Elizabethan chats look like. And that has made us realize how important it is to document all our changes that we're making. I think it is a moral obligation because that is history. The world's greatest collectors are not only defined by great wealth. Sotheby's takes you inside Chatsworth House, the ancestral home of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Discover the passion that has driven 16 generations of the Cavendish family to create one of the world's most extraordinary art collections. The needlework at Chatsworth is the earliest representation that we have of Elizabethan Chatsworth, which of course doesn't survive anymore, so it's incredibly important. I think the needlework and the idea that it reinforces what the house was gives me a real connection back to then. The house evolved in three stages. First of all, there was the Elizabethan house portrayed in this panel, built in about 1550, so a long time ago, which was very much the model for the second house, which is the one we're in at the moment. The Elizabethan house was replaced by a real show-off house. The first Duke wanted everybody to know how successful he was, how rich he was, how important he was. So he put his name along the top in gold letters to show off the name Cavendish. And then in 1830, the wing was added, designed by Wyattville, the architect, for the sixth Duke, the Victorian Duke. And since then, there's been no change really to the fabric, and that's what we have now. There was a painting created in the Elizabethan period of the house, but that doesn't survive. The only thing we have of that is a much later copy. So the needlework is terribly important in terms of documentation of our understanding of the past. We asked Johnny Warrender, who is a really brilliant contemporary painter of buildings particularly and views, to paint a formal portrait of Chatsworth as it is in the beginning of the 21st century. But he's also doing about 24 drawings of buildings and objects in and around the house and garden. This commission is a collaborative enterprise. It is the Duke and Duchess's enthusiasm and love of the place and my ability to try and convey that through this collection of drawings. History moves on, circumstances move on, generations change. They will capture both the interests and enthusiasms of the present Duke and Duchess, which I would like to feel that in a hundred years' time says something about them, just quietly, just discreetly. But that's the value of a collection like this. I think that the house, garden and park have all developed with a sort of unified disunity, if you like. It's definitely, to my way of thinking, a work of art. It is a rather unusual thing and I think it's something which we need to be very careful to nurture.